Hello there guys, Bullabo10000 here, bringing you another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate video. If you haven't already, please consider checking out the final Rate Their Chances video that I posted earlier on today. And then, uh, come back and watch this video, because today, we are going to be going over my Smash Brothers Direct predictions for the Direct tomorrow afternoon. Now, I am not scripting this, I have not wrote anything down, we are going flying off the seat of my seat, that's not an analogy. I am going to just go over what I remember, what I can think of, because uh, quite frankly, if I tried to bullet point and script this thing, we'd be here all night, and by the time the video comes out, the direct will already have aired. So, let's just get straight into it. Everyone always wants to know, the first thing they'll want to know is, Billy, uh, what newcomers do you think are going to get revealed tomorrow? And I have got two different kind of lists. Uh, I've got my first list of newcomers, which is if the Grinch leak is real. And then I have my second list of if the Grinch leak is not real. And I think it's going to be pretty obvious uh, which characters I think are coming in. So, assuming the Grinch leak is real, I really do think, assuming this is the last direct... Uh, uh, no, it is the last direct, but assuming it's the last time they announce characters, I am expecting all seven from the Grinch leak to be revealed. At least Ken and Shadow, I think, will definitely appear as, like, the final Echo Fighters. It makes sense that the final Echo Fighters will be revealed tomorrow because uh, Echoes have often only been revealed in these, uh, these directs. And it makes sense, Sakurai can give them their own presentation, and it would be more interesting than getting a random trailer drop for an Echo later on in November. So, I think Ken and maybe Shadow will be revealed. Assuming the Grinch leak is true, which I am on Team Real, but I am prepared for Team Fake. I've got my own speculation if Team Fake exists. Uh, but Team Real, obviously, Ken and Shadow are my echoes. If it is fake, I still think Ken will definitely get in as, like, the final echo. Shadow is a 50-50. I'm not 100% on him anymore because we are still missing between 11 and 19 assist trophies. And that means that chances are there are going to be some returning assist trophies that we were not expecting. And I think Shadow could be one of them. Same goes to Skull Kid. Uh, just a, a few uh, characters that I think people are maybe uh, thinking, oh, they might be playable, but then they might come back as an assist. And of course, I do have to bring up the fact that there are a lot of insiders claiming that Isaac is going to be an assist trophy, which is a little bit on the concerning side, because obviously I don't want my boy to be an assist trophy, but there is a very high chance that he will be if uh, they are correct. Of course, I personally believe that Isaac will not be an assist trophy. I think he will be playable, and that is what I'm going to stick with. Both worlds, I think Isaac will definitely be playable. I am going to go in with the positivity that I can, and if it does turn out that he is an assist, or that he is not playable, I will be sad. I will probably take a few moments after the direct, have a little bit of a cry, because I'm very emotionally invested, and I really can't help that. Sorry, Source Gaming, I can't hype responsibly here. Uh, and then I think I'll be fine after like an hour. Like, I will be fine. So, because I'm gonna still buy this game. What, why would I boycott a game because they didn't uh, add Isaac? For all we know, if they don't add Isaac as an assist trophy, it could be DLC. And the thing with his assist trophy is people are saying they've seen Isaac as an assist, but he looks really similar to his son, Matthew. And I was thinking about this, and if they were gonna add an assist trophy from Golden Sun, I was thinking it would either be one of the villains from the first few games, but then I realized, wait, the villains would be perfect for bosses, so it couldn't be the villains. So, I figured, why not just add the playable protagonist from the third game, Matthew? Uh, I don't know about Felix, maybe they might add him instead, I'm not sure, but uh, Matthew and Isaac look just enough alike that I think people could potentially make a mistake with them there. Uh, but if Golden Sun does turn out to have an assist trophy and it is Isaac, I will probably be very sad and I'll be very confused because why would you leave that sort of a bombshell till the final direct? Why not just disconfirm him back at E3? That would have been so much nicer. That would have been so much kinder, you know? Uh, I do think that Mark Ryder and Chorus Kids have a good shot. More so Mark Ryder than Chorus Kids, I'm not gonna lie. That little mech that Sakurai bought with the gun, that thing still is yet to really be confirmed as to what it was for. We know that he bought it for his next project, and his next project is Smash Ultimate. 
So, in my eyes, it could only really work with maybe Mark Ryder, uh, a Skell from Xenoblade X, or Gino, because he's a gunner, and he has a gun in his arm, from what I recall. So I think it could go with any of those characters. Uh, Gino, I think, is a lock. I, I genuinely see Gino happening. Uh, Banjo, I think uh, he completely relies on the Grinch leak in my eyes. If the Grinch leak is true, then he's in. If it's false, he's... I think he's DLC. I don't think he'd be base game. Uh, so, with the Grinch leak... Oh, my cat is, like, right here, and he's like, Billy, give me attention, and I'm trying to film... I'm, tr I'm trying to film a predictions thing. So, uh, I would say if the Grinch leak is false, which is 100% a big possibility, I am not going to throw that out the window because I'm not I'm not stupid enough to put all my eggs in one basket. I'm going to say that. Even though I personally think it's real, I will not be surprised if it's fake. And if it is fake, Incineroar is going to be there. There is no way Incineroar will not be there if the Grinch leak is fake. And I think Incineroar is... 100% guaranteed if the Grinch leak is not correct. And the problem is we won't find out if the Grinch leak isn't correct until the end of the Direct, because that's when the banner updates, and we'll see how the the positions and the characters go. Uh, but Incineroar will be an interesting Pokemon rep. I don't think there's going to be any other Pokemon reps other than Incineroar that are getting in, uh, so I would say that for sure. Uh, other characters uh, that I, I don't really have... 100% uh, chances for, but I would like to see. I'd like to see Shantae appear in some capacity. I don't know if she'll appear as an assist trophy, a playable character, or if she's just MIA so that she can come in for DLC. I'm really not sure. I would like to see her, though. I think Shantae and her fans have worked hard, and I think they certainly deserve their big break, and I would like to see Shantae uh, get some representation. And then there are just so many other characters. Obviously, we've got Skull Kid, who I think could 100% be a boss. He could be an assist trophy again. He could be a playable character, for all we know. Uh, but really, I personally think that he is going to be a boss or an assist trophy, one or the other. Maybe he'll be both. That is always possible. Because if the bosses are confined to whatever spirits mode is, then it makes sense that their assist trophies uh, would be separate to that. Because I have a feeling in spirits mode, we won't actually have access to assist trophies. That is my theory. So that's why they are able to be separated so that you can't summon Rathalos in the Rathalos boss fight because boss fights don't involve assist trophies. And that kind of brings me to the point that I still think Spirits Mode is going to be its own story-based thing because you couldn't summon assist trophies in the Subspace Emissary and Brawl. It makes so much sense. Uh, you, I don't think you could summon assist trophies in like stuff like Smash Run or anything from what I recall. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong there. Uh, so I think that is completely possible. Uh, and I think we're going to see a lot more bosses shown off. Uh, Bandana D, I think he's going to be absent from the game. I think he is going to be mysteriously absent, and then he is going to be DLC character number one or number two. I think he will be added as a fighter at some point. I just don't know whether he will be base or DLC. At the moment, it's looking like DLC if the Grinch leak is true. If the Grinch leak is false, though, I think Bandana D actually has a good shot at getting into the roster. And I would not be opposed to that. I've said many times, like, Bandana D is one of the few characters I would really like to see. And I would be interested in seeing that. Uh, moving away from characters, though, because you guys, you all know my thoughts on newcomers. You know my thoughts on characters. Uh, let's talk a little bit about everything else. So, 100%, anything that was hidden in the last Direct Spirits mode and whatever that little icon on the right of the menu screen is, we're going to find out what those are straight away. I think the icon on the menu to the right is going to be a shop of some kind, and I think it's going to sell alternate costumes. Something along those lines that you can purchase by uh, winning challenges and playing game modes and fighting and doing stuff, and you'll unlock costumes and stuff. I think there's still going to be a whole bunch of modes that we haven't seen, like all-star mode. I want to see how they uh, structure that this time. I think they'll probably do it via uh, order of appearance, as in like uh, number one, number two, number three with Echo Fighters appearing with their uh, unique fighter counterparts. I think that makes sense, because that is sort of how this is going. 
Uh, I think that we will see the return of event matches. Obviously, that is something I think everyone wants to see come back, and I think they are going to focus a lot more on event matches once they've revealed more of the cast. I think that may be why they've been holding off on it now, because event matches, it is just so easy to accidentally spoil uh, new characters, because event matches will uh, involve every member in the cast, right? There is going to be events for every single character, probably in some way, shape, or form. And with over 70 plus characters, there is no way they can hide that for that long. Uh, so obviously they may have wanted to hide it until some more character reveals have been done. Uh, on top of event matches, obviously I'm expecting, you know, uh, Spirits Mode itself to get a lot of detail. I want to know exactly what Spirits Mode is. Is it a story mode? Is it uh, a melee adventure mode? What are we doing? Why are there bosses? Which other bosses are gonna show up? and stuff like that. So let's start with the bosses. Uh, we know that we've got Rathalos and we know that we've got Dracula. I imagine that Metal Face and the Yellow Devil might get ported over to be a boss battle. Uh, I think Metal Face being a boss battle would make sense because he's already a boss in the stage that he's from. Uh, and Yellow Devil, I think, also makes sense if they choose not to bring Dr. Wily into this. Uh, I think Dr. Eggman will appear as a boss in some way, shape, or form, and I think that might tie into a potential Shadow Echo Fighter reveal, uh, which I think would make a little bit of sense. Uh, from the main franchises, I'm not actually 100% sure who we could see as bosses. I think uh, The Legend of Zelda has so many different bosses throughout its history that it could honestly be anything. If it's going to be uh, maybe a Breath of the Wild variant, we could potentially see uh, one of the Blights, or maybe even uh, the Ganon form from Breath of the Wild. That's a possibility. We could obviously see uh, any of the bosses from any of the temples from any of the games, so Zelda is up in the air if they get a boss. Uh, Metroid, I would have obviously gone straight for Ridley, but if he's uh, a playable fighter, will we get another Ridley boss? Like, maybe the one from Pyrosphere, because he's a clone, uh, that one could actually return, and it still makes sense in canon. Uh, I think Master Hand, Crazy Hand, they're gonna return, they're gonna be fun, they'll be at the end of Classic, they might be in the story as well. If there is a story, which I really do think there is going to be a story, and I think it's gonna be based on all of these worlds, it's gonna be great. Um, they'll probably return. Uh, I think Mario might get a Bowser-style boss, maybe like Dry Bowser, or, or something along those lines. Maybe Giga Bowser comes back and it's like a separate entity to the Bowser that is playable, possibly, maybe. Uh, I'm trying to think of all the others. Pokemon is easy. You can just pick a legendary and have fun. Uh, like, they could just bring back Rayquaza, or they could go for maybe, like, Arceus, because it's like, let's just get God in here. That's going to be fun, right? Uh, I definitely do think we're going to see a boss Pokemon of some sort. I think most of the franchises will have some form of a boss. And I'm not too knowledgeable on every franchise, so I can't really just go to every franchise and say, this is going to be a boss, and that's going to be a boss, and this is going to be a boss. But I think there is going to be a lot of focus on Nintendo franchises having bosses, as well as third parties. Because right now, we've only seen third party boss fights, and it's like, come on Nintendo, you guys have some great, great bosses as well, bring some in. Which is why I think if Golden Sun is added, bring in the Doom Dragon or the Fusion Dragon, whichever one of your choice. Maybe even bring in Dullahan. Uh, bring in some bosses from the Golden Sun franchise. There are some pretty good ones. Star Magician would be fun. Uh, I think uh, Golden Sun has a lot of untapped potential when it comes to bosses that you could uh, put into a 2D plane, and I think it would be very interesting. Uh, you could also have from... Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the friggin' franchise. From, from Geno, from Super Mario RPG, you could get a... Uh, the Axiom Rangers, I think they're called. I, I can't remember if that's their names or not. Uh, I, I apologize, I have not played Super Mario RPG. I just know little tidbits. Uh, you could get Smithy, I think that was the name of the bad guy from that game as well. Uh, you could, uh, from Banjo and Kazooie, you could get Gruntilda in one of her like machines or just her on her own and that would be really cool and it could have like little rhymes. We could have Gruntilda making rhymes about every single character in the game. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. I want it now, and that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna be sad. God damn it. Uh, speaking of rhymes, I think that there is gonna be some form of Palutena's Guidance slash Snake's Codec coming back. Uh, Game Explain brings up that there could be a Squid Sisters variant, and that way they wouldn't have to do voice acting, because uh, the Squid Sisters are just kind of... You know, they don't actually say words. So they could do that to get around having to film more stuff, and that way they could 
uh, make sure that DLC characters get little uh, little uh, paragraphs as well, which is really cool. I think that could definitely happen, 100%. Uh, so that's a thing. Uh, so, I think we are going to see the final potential five stages that have been hidden from us uh, since the Nintendo Direct of August, and I think that they are going to relate to our newcomers, which is why I am so confident that Isaac will definitely be in. It's partly why I believe the Grinch leak is real, because if you go by the Grinch leak, and then you go by everything we know about the game and its UI up till now, uh, the stage sc uh, select screen makes sense, the character select screen makes sense, the music screen makes sense, and it's why I believe the Grinch leak is real. Uh, I think we're gonna get a lot of new music, I think we're gonna get, uh, whatever franchise comes first, I think it's gonna be a new franchise to start off the, the direct, it makes sense, and that franchise is gonna have its music on the blog this week, that's what I think, because there was no music posted last night, there's probably not gonna be music posted tonight, and if there is, it's gonna be a, a fuck up like the Castlevania one, so fingers crossed it's a Golden Sun theme, and I think that it is going, and I'm gonna make a prediction actually, if, if Golden Sun is in tomorrow's direct, I predict the next music track will be Isaac's battle theme, and it will be composed by Matoy Sakuraba, that is my, that is my prediction right now, I have made it, I am stuck to it, that, that is what's happening, uh, <laughs> I do think we're gonna get some more music, I think we're gonna get uh, some more franchises added into the game, 100%. There is no way that we have seen every franchise so far, there are still slots on the music screen. We uh, should get some more franchises, and I'm just hoping it's not third parties, I'm hoping it's first parties, because they should be cheaper than third parties. Oh, I really, really just want Isaac, you guys can tell, this is this is just me devolving into wanting Isaac again. God damn it, Billy, come on, think of something better to talk about. Uh, so, I've gone over spirits. Uh, I, I didn't go over the fact that I think that spirits mode is gonna have cutscenes, and I actually think it's going to have text bubble dialogue, similar to how I would say Hyrule Warriors did it, uh, but I don't think it's gonna have full voice acting. And the main reason for that is that I just don't see Nintendo giving voices to so many different characters from different games who have never had full-on voice acting before. I don't see it happening. So that's why I think everyone's gonna get little speech bubbles and you'll read the story because I feel like while the subspace emissary was amazing, I feel like a bit more context was needed and I think nowadays that sort of thing was cool but it's not gonna fly. I think they want some context, they want some story. Uh, I think Taboo is gonna return in some shape or form. It is Smash Ultimate. I would be really hyped if it was like a full-on story mode and Taboo turns out to be, like, the secret boss. Like, the super hard boss. They've just uh, inserted a really hard variant of Taboo from Brawl, giving him some new attacks, and he is, like, the super boss of the game. Like, the hidden secret boss that you would have to fight. That would be absolutely epic. It genuinely would. That would, for me, just be mwah, better than anything. I would love that. I would love to see Taboo return. I think we are going to get a new variant of Master Hand, Crazy Hand, because you know we had uh, Master Core in the last game. I don't know if Master Core will return, but I do think we are going to get a new endgame variant in classic mode. I think we are still... Uh, I don't think we're going to get the difficulty scale, the, the intensity scale. I'm not sure if that will come back. Because I know a lot of people really hated that when you uh, lost in classic mode, then your difficulty would go down. Nobody was really a fan of that. So I think that might be reserved for specific modes. Uh, Master Orders and Crazy Orders, I think, will return. Uh, I think that was a mode that people enjoyed in the original Smash 4 variation. I, I don't think that's a problem with bringing that back. I would like to see Smash Run back. I would really like to see Smash Run back. Brack? Back? It would be an amazing mode to bring back uh, and put online and have everyone in the same world this time. They can interact with each other. They can even maybe fight each other for items and stuff. That would be so cool. I think it would be so interesting. And with the Switch, I feel like it is 100% possible compared to being on the 3DS. I just really feel like this is 100% uh, the chance for Smash Run to come in and smash the competition. Uh, I'd like to see Break the Targets or Board the Platforms return in some way, shape, or form. Home Run Contest I want to see back. I want to see The Vault. I want to see more trophies. We're going to get over 1,000. I'm going to predict 1,392 trophies for this game. That is my prediction. 1,392. I'm predicting that. 
caught something in my throat, goddammit. Give me a second, guys. Let me just uh, take a sip of water. I think this is water. Much better. So yeah, I am predicting 1,392 trophies. I think they're going to be in the game. I think there's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of trophies. Custom moves are going to be gone. They're not coming back. I think we've already figured that one out, but I'm just putting that out there just if he decides to confirm it. They're gone. They're gone for good. And I think overall, we're just going to be getting a lot more information on just these smaller uh, modes and just things that, you know, we've seen in the past games returning. I think we are finally going to see a lot of the final smashes for characters that have not actually uh, had their final smashes shown off that we know are probably different. Robin, for example, has to have a different final smash because Krom is now a playable fighter. So what is his final smash? Is it the same thing? Does he get a different character to help him out? Does he get Morgan to help him out? from Fire Emblem uh, Awakening, or, or how does that work? Will Yoshi get a new Final Smash? Because they've been hiding his, and his was a transformational Final Smash, so clearly they've changed it to something else. Uh, is it going to be one of those little cutscene Final Smashes, like Wario, or is he just going to go full on Egg Gozer and chuck giant eggs at people? Uh, how is that going to work? Stuff like that. Uh, Greninja. Uh, they said that Ash Greninja was going to be a part of his final smash. Is it the same final smash just with Ash Greninja? Is he going to launch one of his giant water shurikens from the anime that can't kill a Charizard to save his life? We don't know. These are the sorts of things I'd like to see. However, I'm a little bit scared that they might spend a bit too long doing more glorified patch notes on characters like they did at E3. And that might pad out the runtime of the direct, and I don't want that. To be honest, I'd just like to see more new information, but like sizable information, not just small information about movesets, but full on information about this game. Uh, lastly, I haven't touched upon this yet, online mode. I think there is going to be a lot of discussion about online. I think that For Fun and For Glory are going to return, but I think For Fun, you're going to be able to do 1v1s, uh, 1v1v1s, and 1v1v1v1v1s, whatever. You're going to be able to do a lot more. I think we are finally going to do 8-player Smash Online. I think they will have figured it out, and if they haven't, I will be very sad, because that is a missed opportunity. It's been four years. Come on, Nintendo. I think that For Fun is going to have a lot of the limitations it had in Smash 4 just taken away. It is actually going to be fun. I think it's going to be interesting. Uh, for Glory, I think they are going to switch things up. They are going to use Omega, Battlefield, and maybe they could use normal stages without the stage hazards, which I think would be really interesting. I think we might actually get the choice of the sort of stage you want to fight on. Do you want to fight on a Battlefield stage? Do you want to fight on an Omega stage? I think the game will actually give you a choice and you can pick a mode depending on which kind of stage you would rather fight on. Because obviously some fighters work better on an Omega stage and some fighters work better on a Battlefield stage. So it makes a lot of sense. And I could 100% see that being the case. So yeah, that is that for the online, except I, I just want the online to be better. I just want no lag. That'd be really nice, because I'm paying for Nintendo Switch Online. Uh, I would like to hopefully see uh, something similar to Conquest come back. If you guys remember, Conquest mode was a little mode, I think it was in Smash 3DS. I don't remember if it was in Wii U. Uh, but you used to pick certain fighters that adhered to that category and play as them, and you would, like, get points for that team. I kind of liked that idea, but they didn't go far enough with it. And I think they should go more like, kind of, like, the Splatfest route, where they just go full on with like uh, events and stuff as opposed to just uh, a passive sort of thing like that. Like if they want to host like little events where you have to play as a specific character, they should just go full force and do that. And that would be really cool and really exciting and I would really, really like that. Uh, so lastly, before we get to the end of this video, I want to talk about DLC because I think we are going to hear maybe not necessarily characters for DLC just yet, but I think we are going to hear about maybe like a season pass or some sort of a plan. Just something going on that kind of proves that DLC is on the way. With Nintendo's recent report that they are going to be focusing on DLC more throughout uh, the next few years, Smash is going to get supported for a long time. And I will not be surprised if they kind of just explain how they're going to be doing DLC and uh, what's going to be coming in the future. Because there's so many characters for DLC, both third party, first party, from Nintendo Switch, uh, the Switch era that couldn't actually get considered for the base roster. Uh, there's just so much possibility there, and I would like to get a little bit of information on that as well. Uh, 
so that is that. Uh, so, oh wait, no, I forgot one thing, stage builder. Bring back the stage builder, but actually give us good stuff to use. That's, that's all. I just want a good, I just want a good stage builder, Nintendo. Can you please do that? Okay. So anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little prediction spiel of mine. It's uh, completely unscripted. Uh, if I've forgotten anything, feel free to let me know in the comments and tell me your predictions down below as well. Uh, for those of you wondering, I will be streaming this on Twitch tomorrow. I'll be starting 15 minutes prior to the direct. You can find my Twitch link down below in the description. I hope you guys uh, have a lovely evening, afternoon, wherever you are, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the Nintendo Direct. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.